The Miami Dolphins are once again being linked to a top-proven veteran quarterback but Aaron Rodgers isn't the answer for Miami. The bombshell of Aaron Rodgers being unhappy in Green Bay dropped shortly before the 2021 NFL Draft. To say rumors have been circulating like crazy since then as to where Rodgers would best fit or when he would be leaving the Packers would be a bit of an understatement. Is pursuing Aaron Rodgers a worthwhile task for the Dolphins as the team improves? As the Dolphins have been one of the teams rumored to at least be a potential landing spot for the disgruntled reigning NFL MVP. As much as adding a player the likes of Rodgers to a Dolphins team would elevate them from playoff contender to Super Bowl contender would it be worth it? Would trading away a lot of assets that the team has accumulated through the rebuilding effort to add a player such as Aaron Rodgers? I'll admit that when the team drafted Tua Tungavailoa I was a bit disappointed since it was not my preference. That being said since the team chose the young man from Alabama and I am supportive of the team as well as in the leadership of the team. Like everyone I have seen the changes that Chris Greer and company have made and although I was saddened to see some of the players depart, the overall effect has been positive. We have our coach in coach Brian Flores and he has overhauled the attitude of the team. Looking at the numbers alone, Rodgers posted 4,299 yards and 48 touchdowns while only surrendering 5 interceptions. Tunga Vailoa was certainly conservative in his rookie season passing for 1,814 yards 11 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. This team struggled offensively in 2020 due to various reasons and still managed to barely miss the playoffs. Bringing in someone the like of Rodgers would certainly provide a kickstart to an offense that was very pedestrian in 2020. What would be involved in a trade for the Packers quarterback? Would it involve the young talent on the roster? Would it involve a good chunk of draft picks from the Dolphins in the first few rounds of upcoming drafts? Would he be a good fit in the locker room? Lastly, the ever-important question will the money work? Before this bombshell and ever-involving story about Rodgers originally sprung up on everyone's newsfeed, as well as simply by the numbers, I would have said to give it a shot and try to land the veteran would be worth it. However, I now I am not so sure. I am definitely in favor of the job that Chris Greer has done as well as the leadership that Coach Flores has provided the Dolphins. They will do what is best for the team in the long run. As things stand, that means keeping Tunga Vailoa and letting him lead the team moving forward. This is a team worth rooting for and cheering for as the team evolves into a team looking that has long-term success. Let's pass on Rodgers and see what Tunga Vailoa and the offense can do in year two and continue to grow and improve together.